The purpose of the project was to assist Overstrand Municipality to deal with the continuous demand for service delivery innovation. Water supply, visioning thereof, is a basic constitutional instruction to municipalities. We increased the water treatment capacity in the municipality by 38% over the last decade and that included four new water treatment plants and we also increased the wastewater treatment capacity by 40%. Greencape works at the interface between business, industry and academia to drive the widespread adoption of viable green economy solutions across Africa. Through our partnership with the Friedrich Naumann Foundation, we've identified that there are a number of municipalities across South Africa who have implemented sustainable service delivery projects that are applicable. We wanted to provide a platform for these municipalities to showcase these projects and we've done this through the Green Economy Change Champions Showcase, which is allowing the projects to present this, their sustainable initiatives and to allow for knowledge sharing across other municipalities. The South African Constitution mandates local government to promote a safe and healthy environment. As a result, this places a huge responsibility on local municipalities to ensure that they are playing a central role in the adaptation and mitigation of climate change. Salga is delighted that through this competition, local municipalities are able to celebrate and to share the learnings on the green solutions that they are implementing. It provides an opportunity for other municipalities that are aspiring to find innovative solutions to the challenges that we are facing. We received a number of amazing submissions of projects from municipalities across South Africa. These were evaluated by a panel of diverse judges. Of these, Overstrand Municipality was selected as the winner. This was for their project of outsourcing the operation and maintenance of their bulk water infrastructure facilities. The Narita process is a batch reactor biological process that sort of combines a number of steps or process steps into one reactor. Where conventional plants you had various steps in the process, so in a sense it's a smaller footprint as well as the Narita process is it's possible to fine-tune and optimize it to uh, extend to cater for a bit of a stronger industrial waste that's coming into the plant whereas other plants you more stick to the sizing of your equipment and I think that makes the Narita process one of its kind also in the way that they've designed uh, designed the whole internals and the biological mass particles that makes it possible for the three in one steps to happen. Overstrand Municipality, through my department, looked at how to future proof our water infrastructure with the growing demand from our population and also the growing demand from economic sectors. We looked at how our Overstrand Municipality and our region predominantly features on the tourism scale and how to bring in a different product mix. But it's no use bringing in this different product mix if we can't supply the water. The Overstrand Municipality dealt with a Section 78 process in order to facilitate this. The process basically entailed that we needed to discuss the future of our water infrastructure with our unions, also go through a proper procurement process and also take into consideration what national legislation as well as national treasury recommended to us. From a procurement perspective, the three main aims with this contract were firstly the improvement of the operation and maintenance of our facilities, the efficiencies of that, also the asset preservation in the long term and lastly the upskilling of our staff. One of the concerns from early on was how to finance such a long-term contract for 15 years. Um, we were unsure of what the, the market would, would deliver to us. So initially we financed everything, all the studies, the Section 78 study, the feasibility study, all of those things, uh, procurement, the tender specifications. And in the end it turned out that the money that we had was enough to finance the, the project. So in the end it turned out quite well that we actually had enough money and no additional funding was required to implement the project. This project benefits the entire population of the Overstrand Municipality. That's 38,000 households and approximately 110,000 residents. And we already see a reduction in our water treatment losses. We see better response to emergency situations, better risk management, and the Municipality's Green Drop score also improved significantly. This project resulted in the creation of 20 additional permanent jobs in the Municipality.
Die meeste van die subcontracteurs is plaaslik en baie van die plaaslike uh, besighede is, is by ons uh, sy databasis. Ons gebruik meestal plaaslike subcontracteurs in die gemeenskap. Water supply and maintenance of infrastructure is a challenge for all municipalities and especially in water scarce areas like South Africa and Overstrand is no different. This specific program assists us to ensure that we have the latest green technology to ensure that our infrastructure will survive the next few years.